Good morning, everybody. I'm whispering because I don't want to disrupt the beast over there. I'm not calling her a beast, but Lincoln, come here. she has gone into spring cleaning mode with winter gear. Oh, she spotted us. Where? Show me. And she is going through snow coats for next year. I don't think Do you see that? Yeah. Do you appreciate I'm that? I'm ready for the pancake. That's all you care about is pancakes while your mother's slaving trying to figure out snow coats? Hey, I got a bad trip. Shh, she'll hear us. She'll see us. I have a fear that this coat business has turned into a, what's the word, tailoring business? <laughs> Boston, don't cut those ones. Okay, cut all the ones you want. Or not the ones you want, the ones I told you, okay? Can it be my turn? No. Well, I'll let you cut some big ones, okay? This tree has got to be pruned a little bit. My grass isn't quite growing in as thick as I want right here. You can see how patchy it is. And part of that is because of how low we've cut it and we're kind of revamping the lawn. But if a tree casts too much shade on non-shade grass, you will get blotchy spots. And this tree has been in need of a thinning for a long time. So, prune time. Boston, you are the man. Cut that branch, chop that wood. Keep going. Keep on going. So our tree is naked. <laughs> why, why did... In the words of a famous person, it looks like I'm looking up her skirt. What? The first time I ever pruned this tree, you came home from, I think your mom's. I think you're all, I think I'm looking up the tree's skirt. <laughs> Well, I am funny. <laughs> I'll show you what I've done in here. I've got one jacket set aside because you guys know it's gonna snow next week, but I don't need their winter, winter coats. And so I've got their winter, winter coats in the washing machine. And as soon as they're dry, I'm going to vacuum seal them into these bags. Let me tell you how many times I've reused this bag. I take it on most of my trips to conceal my stuff. Like I suck it down. So I'll link those in the description. I have one coat set aside for each kid and this is all just garbage. I need to bring the vacuum up and like vacuum up in here, but that feels better. Literally, I was opening it up and everything was just falling out and I started angry cleaning, okay? So then I started doing something that I have never done before, which is buying coats for next season. I never buy items on clearance for the next season because it makes me so mad when they don't fit, but I feel like I have a pretty good grasp. I'll probably eat my words, but this is what I got for the kids. Olivia's was originally 130 and it was 68. The boys is 109 and these were $53. I can't skimp on coats here because the kids play in negative degree weather. So it would have been much, much more. Anyway, I usually stick with the Columbia brand because I just really love that. These ones were LL Bean. We did a sponsored video with these guys and actually really loved these coats. I'll show you. Land's End is a brand that I kind of grew up with. My mom always had it. My mom gave this coat to Joel and this is the coat that Joel chooses to work out in the cold in. It's stained, it's glued, it's all the things and he runs in our negative degree weather every morning in it. So their quality is good. So those are kind of three brands that I really love. I'll link the coats that I got for the kids. Also, I couldn't find swimming suits for Olivia anywhere. I could not find size 14. It's really hard to find. And when I do find them, I mean, guys, I think I ordered six swimming suits for Olivia, but they would either like cut down like here or they'd be really low. And like, she's in the process of changing, getting comfortable with the changes and she doesn't want to be showy or like having it cut high up on her hip. Like she's not into that. So. I actually found some super, super modest swimsuits and they were a really big sale. So from Land's End, I'll put a link to the swimsuits and the coats that I got in case you guys are interested. Do I have lady up here? Hi lady. Is this sunbathing on dad's truck, Beth? Yeah. What are you guys doing? We're in Jacob's Bahamas. 
Oh, Mom, there's a spot under there, and it's the best one. Her little Let's tug. see. Look. Oh. Are you hiding in there? Hey, Joel, what's this? Is this a table saw bed? I had a gift card. O M G. Since when do you start saying that? <laughs> oh my gosh, O M G. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> hey, you boys look so cute up there just hanging out. With the lady. With the lady. With the lady. Did you get some water? I think she's <sighs> Do you need a drink? Your Come tongue's on, sticking sit. out of your mouth? I can jump on. We'll get her water. Oh boy, here we go. Nice. I have been waiting a few weeks for this day to come. I got a burn permit because there is tons of debris at the house. A pile here, a pile there, and we need to burn it so I don't gotta dump it because it's all green waste. So we're gonna have a little bonfire today. The kids wanted to roast marshmallows. I'm like, I don't know what all is in those piles, so we're not gonna roast any marshmallows off of them. I'm nervous most about lighting those and watching mouse scurry away. Oh, <laughs> I want to show everybody what's been happening on the inside. I actually haven't been here in several, several days. All the floor is up. Joel did a today's task um, on his channel, which we'll put that specific video in the description. We had to rip all of the floor up, plus the subfloor. Joel, this looks really good. I can tell that it's more even. Yeah. It's I mean, it so visually you could see that it was uneven, so. Yeah, we had high This is good. Yeah. For the first time walking in here, it didn't smell as bad so to bad. me. Yeah, it didn't smell as bad. It's good. Hi. Should we go have a bonfire? No bonfire. Okay, so us kids, we were on the pile of dirt and Cody was looking around. Where is it? And I found if you can't tell. I found it. That is a rib cage connected to a spine. Yep. We were looking in the dirt. We just find this random thing. We have no clue what it is. I a, think it's a squirrel. Cody thinks it's a squirrel. I think it's a rat because we found a lot of mice. Yeah, so I mean, that's true. It's probably I think a rat. it's a rat. But that's so or gross. It's a scorpion. Yeah, Lincoln thinks it's a scorpion. It is but. a scorpion. Yeah, it's a scorpion, okay. So you're not gonna put anything on here? You're just gonna start it? Yes, Okay, well I'm gonna let you hold this and I'm going to sit on that trailer. Oh, okay. And watch you from the trailer. Well, Lincoln, come here. Come, come here. here. No, okay, go ahead, Code. No, the grass ain't gonna burn right there, bud. You gotta burn the weeds over here. Got it. And over there. Come here. They do things like that. Well, hey bud, get up there close. Hurry bud, it's gonna start going. Yeah, okay, that's good enough bud. Yeah, that's good. You gotta start it over there. Okay, I can't do it. Look, tiny stuff, look at that yellow stuff. Okay. Okay, the trailer is not a good place to stand. No. So I'm gonna come over here on the cement. I can feel the heat, it's heat from hot. here. Oh, get out over there. Yep, it's yeah, on. Thanks, it is. Holly. I mean, that is hot. It's a hot fire, and it's underneath. If you look in, it's like red. And wow. Cold. I don't. I like this is as close as I can get without my like my face is hot. Can you hear that? What are you so excited about? Today's birthday. Why? Because I'm finally gonna have hot dogs in my favorite dinners. Hot dogs? Mm -hmm. Well, if hot dogs are bringing you happiness right now, that <laughs> that makes me happy. I was gonna ask you what you were excited for for your birthday. Oh. We we have a whole plan, don't we? Yeah. That's it's coming up long. soon. Okay. I just want to know what do you want for your birthday? A punching bag? What else? Uh, kiwis. Kiwis? Wrap on ones. I thought you said kiwis. I was like, what? <laughs> kiwis? All right, just needed some ideas. Lincoln, what are you trying to make? I'm trying to break this. You're trying to break it? Can we help you? Okay. 
Well, you look like you're working really hard at that. Wash your fingers. Hey, I'm not doing <laughs> I need to know what's happening. There's a mouse somewhere. Kind of try to like. Ew, I'm scared to now walk in here. So Olivia is trying to find the mouse. Boston accidentally scared it away, so now we're just, Olivia is just trying to find it. She just wants to see if it'll come out. Probably under that rock. What rocks? Okay, do you think we should switch jobs? Yeah, sure. Found him. He's right there. Yeah. He's right there. It's so Found him. There he is. There he is. Ew, that's disgusting. Oh, <sighs> so cool. Told you. He is one. in those burying a hole. There is. There is there his head. There he is. There he is. Ew. He's trying to hide. That's so cool. He's coming at the door. So that is a bull. Right there. right there. We're putting the fire out now that we're through burning. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's why I'm slowly moving because I am not about to uh, get soaked. Get soaked. Okay, Olivia, you go get cleaned up and showered. These three boys will follow soon, but everybody's doing a few laps on the dirt bike first. Okay. Remember, you gotta put your kickstand up. Okay, and then you gotta go up a gear. There you go, nice and slow. Nice and easy, Bostawedo. We'll play some catch maybe later, okay? When we're cleaned up, or maybe tomorrow, okay? But until then, I'm gonna keep an eye on Lincoln, or Boston, riding the dirt bike. He looks so good. Okay, guys, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you think Boston's doing a great job, give that a thumbs up too. Hit that like button and, uh, oh, we'll bail. And if you guys are not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the fun days like this. This was a fun day. Okay guys, we'll see you later. Hey, bye lady.